brought to you by Wikivd Documentaries. Snowpiercer. Snowpiercer is a 2013 English language South Korean Czech science fiction thriller film based on the French graphic novel Le Transpersonnage by Jacques Loeb, Benjamin Legrand, and Jean Marc Rochette. The film is directed by Bong Joon Ho and written by Bong and Kelly Masterson. The film marks Bong's English language debut. Approximately 80% of the film was shot in English. The film stars Chris Evans, Song Kang Ho, Tilda Swinton, Jamie Bell, Octavia Spencer, Go Ah Sung, John Hurt, and Ed Harris. The movie takes place aboard the globe-spanning Snowpiercer train which holds the last remnants of humanity after an attempt at climate engineering in order to stop global warming has unintentionally created a new ice age. Evans stars as Curtis Everett, a member of the lower-class tail section passengers as they lead a revolution against the elite of the front of the train. Filming was done on train car sets mounted on gimbals at Barandoff Studios in Prague to simulate the motion of the train. Snowpiercer was well received by critics and appeared on many film critics' top 10 film lists of 2014 following its international release. Praise was primarily directed towards its vision, direction, and performances, particularly Evans and Swinton's. Initially planned for a limited screen showing in the United States, the critical response to the film prompted the Weinstein Company to expand the showing to more theaters and through digital streaming services. Produced at a budget of $40 million, it remains as the most expensive Korean production ever. Plot In 2014, an attempt to counteract global warming through climate engineering backfires catastrophically unintentionally causing an ice age that extinguishes all life except the inhabitants of the Snowpiercer, a massive train powered by a perpetual motion engine that travels a circumnavigational track, created by the transportation magnate Wilford. By 2031, elites inhabit the extravagant front cars and the scum inhabit the tail in squalid and brutal conditions. Under watch by Wilford's guards, they are brought only gelatinous protein bars to eat and kept in their place in the social order by Minister Mason, while sometimes small children are taken away, conspiring with his mentor Gilliam. Curtis Everett leads the tail passengers in a revolt that he plans will take them all the way up to the engine. Overpowering the guards, they release security expert Nam Goong Minzu and his clairvoyant daughter Yona from the prison car so as to disable the locks between cars. They take the car where insects are ground up to make their protein bars, and Gilliam suggests that if they take the subsequent water supply car, they will control any negotiation with Wilford. Instead, they are ambushed by a mass of masked men, with hatchets led by Franco the Elder under Mason's orders. After a bloody battle Curtis sacrifices his second-in-command Edgar to win the fight. Mason is taken captive and Curtis, Nam Goong, Yona, and three other rebels continue on. With her as a hostage, they travel through several luxurious cars and arrive at a classroom, where the teacher expounds to the children and the rebels on the greatness of Wilford and the sacred engine. While distracted, by the celebration of the new year marking one circumnavigation of the globe. The teacher ambushes them, killing Andrew before Grey kills her. Further back, Franco and Mason's soldiers use the same distraction to kill the rebel army and many of the tail passengers. Franco executes Gilliam, and Curtis kills Mason in revenge. Curtis' group continues forward, followed by Franco, leading to a violent fight in a sauna car, during which Franco kills Gray and mortally wounds Tanya before Curtis and Nam Goong seemingly kill him. At the gate to the engine, Nam Goong reveals that he plans 
to use Kronol, a hallucinogen he has gathered from the elites they passed as an explosive to blow a hatch to the outside, as he observed signs the world outside is thawing. Curtis confesses to him that shortly after boarding the train, the tail passengers resorted to cannibalism to survive, and he is haunted by his part in it. He was nearly ready to kill infant Edgar when Gilliam offered his own arm instead. After years of disdain for Wilford, Curtis seeks to learn what Wilford's intentions were. Franco is revealed to have survived and makes his way toward the engine. Wilford's assistant Claude emerges from the engine, shoots Nam Goon, and invites Curtis inside where he meets an aging Wilford. Wilford reveals to Curtis that his revolution was actually orchestrated by himself and Gilliam to reduce the population and maintain the balance of the sealed ecosystem, and subsequently orders the elimination of 74% of the remaining tail passengers. He explains the importance of using fear and chaos to maintain a necessary order and leadership on the train. After letting Curtis experience being alone for the first time in 17 years, Wilford asks Curtis to replace him. Curtis appears ready to accept. When Yona runs in and pulls up her floorboard, showing Curtis that small children from the tail section are being trapped as replacement parts for extinct machinery. The tail section only serves to provide this resource to the engine. Curtis subdues Wilford, and sacrifices an arm to save Timmy from this work. Namgoon revives, and finally kills Franco as Yona lights the fuse on the chronol. Curtis and Namgoon tightly embrace Yona and Timmy, protecting them from the blast. The explosion triggers an avalanche that derails the train. Yona and Timmy Apparently the only survivors emerge from the wreckage and see a polar bear. Proof that life exists outside the train. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.